Imagine a life where your words are chosen with care, where silence becomes a source of strength rather than a sign of weakness. Stoicism, a philosophy deeply rooted in self-discipline and wisdom, teaches us the value of silence, especially in situations where speaking could do more harm than good. In a world that often rewards noise and constant communication, Stoicism reminds us that there is immense power in knowing when to remain silent. Speaking at the wrong time or in the wrong way can create unnecessary conflict, stress, and misunderstanding. In this video, we will explore 11 specific situations where Stoic wisdom advises us to stay silent, allowing us to navigate life with greater peace, control, and clarity. By drawing on the teachings of great Stoic thinkers like Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, and Seneca, we'll uncover the profound reasons why silence can sometimes be the most powerful response. Silence is not about passivity or avoidance. It's a conscious choice that reflects wisdom and self-mastery. When used correctly, silence can diffuse conflict, maintain dignity, and protect your inner peace. If you're ready to harness the power of silence and learn when it's best to hold your tongue, this video is for you. Number one, when emotions are high, Stoicism teaches us that emotions, especially anger and frustration, can cloud our judgment and lead to regrettable actions or words. In moments of intense emotion, speaking can often escalate the situation rather than resolve it. The Stoics advise us to remain silent when our emotions are running high, allowing time for reflection and calm before responding. By choosing silence, you give yourself the opportunity to, to regain control of your thoughts and actions, ensuring that your response is measured and thoughtful rather than impulsive and destructive. For example, in the heat of an argument, the urge to speak up and defend yourself can be overwhelming. However, uh, responding in anger often leads to hurtful words and further conflict. Instead, Stoicism encourages you to pause and remain silent until your emotions settle. By waiting, you can approach the situation with a clear mind and a calm demeanor, reducing the likelihood of saying something you'll regret. This practice not only protects your relationships, but also strengthens your ability to maintain inner peace in challenging situations. Number two, when listening is more important. Stoicism places great value on the ability to listen actively and attentively. Often, we are so focused on what we want to say that we miss out on the valuable insights and perspectives that others are sharing. In situations where listening is more important than speaking, Stoicism teaches us to remain silent, allowing others to express themselves fully before we offer our own thoughts. This practice not only fosters better communication, but also shows respect for others' opinions and experiences. For example, in a discussion or debate, instead of jumping in to share your viewpoint immediately, take a step back and truly listen to what the other person is saying. By remaining silent and attentive, you can gain a deeper understanding of their perspective, which can inform a more thoughtful and constructive response. Silence in these moments is not a sign of weakness or passivity. It's a powerful tool that allows for more meaningful and respectful communication. Number three, when you don't have the full picture. Stoicism teaches us to avoid making hasty judgments or assumptions, especially when we don't have all the facts. In situations where you lack complete information, remaining silent can prevent you from making misguided statements or decisions. Speaking without knowing the full picture can lead to misunderstandings, errors, and unnecessary complications. By staying silent until you have all the necessary information, you protect yourself from making premature judgments and acting on incomplete knowledge. For example, if you hear a rumor about a colleague or friend, your first instinct might be to respond or pass it along. However, Stoicism encourages you to remain silent until you have verified the information and understand the full context. Jumping to conclusions based on partial information can lead to unnecessary drama and conflict. By choosing silence in these situations, you demonstrate wisdom and restraint, allowing you to act with greater clarity and accuracy once you have all the facts. Number four, when your words could cause harm. The Stoics believed in the importance of using words carefully and avoiding speech that could cause harm to others. Whether it's through gossip, criticism, or harsh remarks, words can have a powerful impact. And once spoken, they cannot be taken back. 
Stoicism advises us to remain silent in situations where our words might cause unnecessary pain, conflict, or damage to our relationships. By choosing silence, you protect not only others, but also yourself from the consequences of hurtful speech. For example, if you're tempted to criticize someone for a mistake they've made, pause and consider whether your words will be helpful or hurtful. If your criticism is unlikely to be constructive and could cause harm, Stoicism teaches you to remain silent instead. This practice encourages empathy and mindfulness, allowing you to avoid causing unnecessary harm through your words. Silence in these moments is an act of compassion and self-discipline, reflecting your commitment to fostering positive and respectful relationships. Number five, when you're being provoked. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-control, especially in the face of provocation. When someone tries to provoke you, whether through insults, challenges, or taunts, the natural reaction might be to defend yourself or retaliate. However, responding to provocation often leads to escalation and conflict, which can undermine your sense of peace and dignity. Stoicism teaches us to remain silent in these situations, recognizing that responding to provocation only gives power to the other person and fuels unnecessary conflict. For example, if someone insults you or tries to provoke a reaction, Stoicism encourages you to rise above the situation by remaining silent and composed. By refusing to engage in the conflict, you demonstrate strength and self-mastery, showing that you are not easily swayed by external negativity. Silence in these moments is not a sign of weakness. It's a reflection of your inner strength and your ability to maintain control over your own emotions and actions. By choosing silence, you protect your peace and avoid being drawn into unnecessary drama. Number six, when you need time to reflect, Stoicism teaches the value of thoughtful reflection before speaking or acting. In situations where you're unsure of how to respond or need more time to consider your options, remaining silent allows you the space to think things through. Speaking impulsively or without careful consideration can lead to mistakes, misunderstandings, and regret. By choosing silence, you give yourself the time and mental clarity to reflect on the best course of action, ensuring that your response is thoughtful and aligned with your values. For example, if you're faced with a difficult decision or a challenging conversation, Stoicism advises you to take a step back and remain silent until you've had time to reflect on your thoughts and feelings. Rushing to respond can lead to hasty decisions that you may later regret. By allowing yourself time to reflect, you can approach the situation with greater wisdom and confidence, knowing that your response is well-considered and intentional. Silence in these moments is a powerful tool for cultivating inner clarity and making decisions that align with your principles. Number seven, when you don't have anything valuable to add. One of the key teachings of Stoicism is the importance of speaking only when your words add value to the conversation. In situations where you don't have anything valuable or constructive to contribute, Stoicism advises you to remain silent. Speaking for the sake of speaking can dilute the conversation and lead to unnecessary noise and distraction. By choosing silence when you have nothing meaningful to add, you respect the conversation and contribute to a more focused and productive dialogue. For example, in a meeting or group discussion, if you don't have any new insights or ideas to share, it's often better to remain silent rather than speaking just to be heard. Stoicism teaches that silence can be just as powerful as words when used intentionally. By holding back when you don't have anything valuable to contribute, you create space for others to share their perspectives and keep the conversation focused on what truly matters. This practice reflects your commitment to mindful communication and your respect for the value of others' contributions. Number eight, when you're trying to impress others, Stoicism warns against the temptation to speak or act in ways that are designed to impress others or seek validation. When we speak to impress, we often say things that are inauthentic or exaggerated, which can lead to a loss of integrity and self-respect. Stoicism teaches us to remain silent in situations where our motivation is to impress others rather than to communicate honestly and meaningfully. By choosing silence, you stay true to yourself and avoid the pitfalls of seeking external approval. For example, 
in social situations where you feel the pressure to impress others with your knowledge, achievements, or opinions, Stoicism encourages you to remain silent if your words are not authentic or necessary. Speaking to impress often leads to superficial conversations and a sense of emptiness afterward. By choosing silence, you demonstrate self-confidence and integrity, showing that you don't need to rely on others' approval to feel validated. This practice helps you cultivate a stronger sense of self and a deeper connection to your true values. Number nine, when it's not the right time. Timing is crucial in communication, and Stoicism teaches us to be mindful of when it's appropriate to speak and when it's better to remain silent. Sometimes, even if you have something valuable to say, the timing may not be right. Whether because the other person is not receptive, the situation is too heated, or the context isn't appropriate. Stoicism advises us to remain silent when the timing isn't right, waiting for a more suitable moment to share our thoughts. This practice helps you avoid unnecessary conflict and ensures that your message is received more effectively. For example, if you have feedback or criticism to share with someone, but the person is upset or distracted, Stoicism encourages you to wait until they are in a better state of mind to receive your message. Speaking at the wrong time can lead to misunderstandings or defensiveness, which can undermine your intentions. By remaining silent and waiting for the right moment, you increase the likelihood that your message will be heard and appreciated. This practice reflects your commitment to thoughtful and effective communication, as well as your respect for others' emotional states. Number 10. When you're trying to prove a point. Stoicism teaches us that the need to constantly prove ourselves or our opinions to others is often driven by ego and insecurity. In situations where you feel compelled to prove a point or win an argument, Stoicism advises you to remain silent and let go of the need for validation. Speaking to prove a point can lead to unnecessary conflict and defensiveness, which can damage relationships and create more stress. Um, by choosing silence, you free yourself from the pressure of needing to be right and allow the situation to unfold naturally. For example, if you're in a debate or disagreement and feel the urge to prove your point, Stoicism encourages you to pause and reflect on whether winning the argument is truly important. Often, the need to prove ourselves comes from a place of insecurity rather than a genuine desire for understanding. By remaining silent and letting go of the need to win, you demonstrate confidence and wisdom, showing that you don't need external validation to feel secure in your beliefs. This practice helps you cultivate inner peace and maintain healthy, respectful relationships. Number 11, when it's better to let actions speak. Finally, Stoicism teaches us that actions often speak louder than words. In situations where words are unnecessary or could dilute the impact of your actions, Stoicism advises you to remain silent and let your actions do the talking. Whether it's through kindness, generosity, or perseverance, your actions can communicate more powerfully than any words ever could. By choosing silence and letting your actions speak for themselves, you demonstrate integrity, authenticity, and a deep commitment to your values. For example, if you're working on a project or pursuing a goal, Stoicism encourages you to focus on your actions rather than talking about your plans or seeking praise. By letting your results speak for themselves, you demonstrate your dedication and capability without needing to rely on words for validation. This practice reflects the stoic belief in the power of deeds over rhetoric, allowing you to live with greater purpose and integrity. These 11 stoic principles remind us of the profound wisdom in choosing silence over speech in certain situations. By knowing when to remain silent, you cultivate greater self-discipline, wisdom, and inner peace allowing you to navigate life's challenges with clarity and confidence. Let me know in the comments which, which Stoic principle resonates with you the most. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into Stoicism and personal growth. Thanks for watching.